Welcome to the final race of the Eliminator Round at Battle Creek Motor Speedway for the Subway 200. Eight drivers still in contention to make it to Detroit for the season finale. And now we're going to check out the drivers that are under pressure in today's race. First off, it's Dale Jr. He's a must win to get into the next round. Clint Boyer, he's going to need a solid day out of his crew and himself to get into the next round. Marcus Ambrose, also in a must-win situation alongside Dale Jr. Greg Biffle, he is about eight points out or so. He needs a good day to get into the chase. And then Denny Hamlin, he is in the chase right now, but only eight points above fifth place. Drivers to watch today, Casey Mears, he's on the pole today and has a fast race car. Kevin Harvick, he is dominant at Phoenix Motor Speedway, which is a sister track to Battle Creek. And then Jeff Gordon won here last time we were here this season, but crashed in qualifying. So we'll see how he can get through the field today. Drivers, start your engines. Cars fire up and roll off here for 10 laps in Battle Creek. Subway 200 starting lineup. In row one, we have Casey Mears alongside Tony Smoke Stewart. Row two, Denny Hammer and Hamlin and Jimmy Johnson. Row three, Ricky Stenhouse Jr. and Kevin Harvick. Row four, Ryan Newman and Dale Earnhardt Jr. Sitting in row five, we have Casey Kane and Marcus Ambrose. Greg Biffle and Carter Adelman line up row six. And in row seven, we have David Reagan and Jimmy in the Pizza Hut Chevy. Row eight, Danica Patrick and Eric Amarola. And then row nine, Brian Vickers and Paul Menard. Row 10, we have Austin Dillon and Martin Truex Jr., Clint Boyer, Jamie McMurray in row 11, and then Kurt Busch and Brad Keselowski in row 12. Row 13, we have Joey Logano and Bryce Harvey. Row 14, Gino Harvey and the points leader, Matt Kenseth. Row 15, Alex Bowman and Kyle Larson. Row 16, Michael McDowell and Eddie Jones. Row 17, Justin Allgaier and Brett Moffitt. Row 18, Josh Wise and Carl Edwards. And then row 19, we have A.J. Allmendinger and Jeff Gordon. Green flag is out in Battle Creek. Casey Mears and Tony Stewart lead us to the line. Denny Hamlin and Casey Mears get a good restart on that inside lane. Hamlin's looking to go to second on Tony Stewart. Oh, Ambrose is in the wall. He collects Carter Adelman. Marcus Ambrose ends up spinning and hitting the wall again. Let's check out this. Watch as Ambrose gets up into the wall, comes down, hits Adelman. Adelman does a nice job of saving it, really. But Ambrose, not so fortunate. Sad day for Marcus Ambrose as he was a must win to get in. And like we said, Adelman was some damage to the right rear on the 58. Green flag is back out here in Battle Creek. Tony Stewart and Casey Mears. Once again, lead us to the line. Let's try it again. We got a battle for the lead. It's between Stewart and Mears. And Johnson's going to hop into third place and probably hunt after Tony Stewart as Casey Mears is stretching out his lead as we exit the dog lake. Oh, we have Adelman with smoke in his tire. Maybe he'll come down pit road to get that change. Tony Stewart, meanwhile, going for the lead on Casey Mears out of the dog leg, side by side, heading into turn three and four. Oh, Stewart gets loose, and Johnson's going to come under. Oh, we got a spin. It's Carter Adelman. His tire lets go, and he spins coming off of turn two. I thought he'd come down on pit road to change that tire, but he chose to stay out. And then Adelman spins, and now he is currently out of the chase. Green flag is out on lap five. Of 10, Mears chooses the outside lane for the restart. Let's see how that works. Casey Mears is going to get down on Tony Stewart, and it's going to work. Mears to the lead as Johnson passes Stewart. Now Johnson gets a big momentum swing through three and four. Nice turn and exit for Jimmy Johnson, a new race leader. You see Adelman deep in the field here as he comes by right there, passing cars already. Carter Adelman on a mission, trying to get himself back into the chase. Jimmy Johnson, Casey Mears, and then Dale Jr. now in third place as he passes Stewart. Mears and Johnson battle for the lead off of turn two, heading into turn three and four. Oh, Mears gets into him. Mears to the lead now. Dale Jr. coming in a second. The fans stand on their feet, cheering on their favorite drivers. Dale Jr. comes into second place in a must-win situation. Hamlin gets loose on the backstretch. Oh, and Brack is also in the wall, collecting Austin Dillon, Danica Patrick, and looks like Matt Kenseth. Four-car pile-up off of turn two. Austin Dillon got turned by Brad Kozlowski. Or maybe Dillon turned Brad K. We'll have to look at that one again. I think it was Dillon who turned Brad Kozlowski. And your points leader, Matt Kenseth, looks like he ran into Austin Dillon. Yeah, Kozlowski looks like he cuts off Dillon, and Dillon gets into him. And Patrick and Kenseth just nowhere to go. 
Green White Check and Restart coming up with two to go. Let's check out where our bubble driver is placed in the field. Dale Jr. currently second. Must win to get in, and he's in good shape to do so. Jimmy Johnson, the new points leader as of now after Kenseth Threat. Biffle and Boyer currently out of the chase, but Denny Hamlin is in if he can maintain that position. And then guess what? Carter Adelman has passed enough cars, and Adelman is currently in a spot to make the chase, but if, a re if he wrecks, he could be out just like that. Green flag waves for the final two laps at Battle Creek. Casey Mears and Dale Jr. Jr. gets a great restart from the outside. Jimmy Johnson does as well. Three wide for the lead. Here comes Kane. Coming into second place now, Casey Kane comes out of nowhere, and he's going to battle for the lead with one lap to go. Ricky Stenhouse Jr. in third place now. Kane and Jr. off the back stretch. Oh, my goodness. Here comes Ricky Stenhouse Jr. out of nowhere. Stenhouse to the lead and the win. Jr. gets bumped out, and he will not make a chase. Him with a Boyer wreck on the final lap. Oh, no. And here comes Carter Adelman. He will take it. Biffle takes out Hamlin in the final turn. Here's your instant replay of what happened. Denny Hamlin gets spun out by Greg Biffle. What a finish to this race. Stenhouse gets an upset victory in Battle Creek. Boyer is not pleased with Greg Biffle either. And neither is Denny Hamlin. Stenhouse Jr. celebrates in victory lane. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. disappointed for his fans for what happened on the last lap. Here's what happens. Oh, it looks like Stewart just gets into Junior, but Junior was stuck on that outside lane, and Adam and Team Magi, Team Magi move on. Hamlin throwing stuff in the garage area. He is not happy with Greg Biffle at all. Eliminator round, final standings. Jimmy Johnson, your first place in points after it. Second is Matt Kenseth, who is locked in with a win. Third is Carter Adelman, just 13 points ahead. And then your fourth and final seed for the finale is Clint Boyer. It's not Greg Biffle. It is Clint Boyer. Boyer edges Biffle by eight points. And the last four out of the finale is Greg Biffle, who tried his best to do his dirty work to get into the chase. And he cost this man, Denny Hamlin, a chase finale berth. Seventh is Dale Jr. Had a good, good day. But then or Marcus Ambrose has finished his eighth, who wrecked in every single race in a limited round. First is Ricky Senhouse Jr., Second is Tony Stewart. Good day for Smoke. He needed this. Third is Jimmy Johnson. Finishing fourth today was Casey Kane. And fifth, Kevin Harvick. And then Dale Jr. Disappointed, but a good day and a good season for Dale Jr. Seventh is Casey Mears, who had an awesome day. Ended up finishing seventh. Eighth is Greg Biffle. Ninth, David Reagan. And in tenth today is Clint Boyer, who got wrecked on the final lap, but crossed the line in tenth. 11th is Brian Vickers, 12th Jimmy, and then 13th is Eric Almarola. Finishing 14th today was the Ogre, Ryan Newman, and 15th was Kurt Busch. 16th today was Martin Truex Jr., and then 17th was Joey Logano. 18th today in the fan design scheme is Gino Harvey, and then 19th, Jamie McMurray. 20th was Carter Adelman, and then 21st, Jeff Gordon. 22nd today was Kyle Larson. And then 23rd, last week's winner, Bryce Harvey. 24th, Paul Menard. And then 25th, Alex Bowman. 26th today was Carl Edwards. And then 27th, A.J. Allmendinger. Eddie Jones finishes the day in 28th. And Brett Moffitt gets a top 30 finish in 29th. 30th was Josh Wise. And then 31st, Michael McDowell. 32nd today, Justin Allgaier, not very strong at all today in the 51. 33rd was disappointing finish for him, Denny Hamlin, and 34th, Matt Kenseth. 35th, Danica Patrick, and 36th, Brad Kozolowski. 37th was Austin Dillon, and running up the field in 38th, Marcus Ambrose. See everyone next week in Detroit for the season finale. It's going to be a good one. This is JG24, JM26, signing out.